Hello again, this is Tim from Southwest Rangers here in Tucson, Arizona. This is our cold start walk around for motor number 101. Uh, motor 101 is a 2000 KZ1000P. Uh, current mileage on it is 33,555. That is original mileage. As you can see, uh, got it hooked up to this remote fuel supply here. Um, so we can get it started. Haven't run this bike in probably at least six months. It's a bike we haven't used much in the last uh, year or two because uh, it needs a valve job um, when you start it up. When it runs, it smokes a bit. That's why we don't use it. Uh, that doesn't look good for a funeral escort to uh, be riding around on a bike that smokes. So uh, got a couple of parts here for it. This is the fuel tank. It actually has a nice fuel tank. Doesn't have any dents on it. Most of it is intact. Got a couple of spots here where the accent stripes have worn off, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Really nice seat here as well. Um, somewhere around here, I got the center stand for it. The bike does have a center stand. You can see this from the picture right here. Look at this corner right here. This tab for the uh, center stand broke off. This is this is one of the tabs on the mount, so that's why we took it off. Um, it is a clean brake, and we've had that happen a couple of times. And then we don't take those off regularly to um, to lubricate them. So, um, which is what you have to do if you really want to if you really want them to stay lubricated. And uh, so as a result. Uh, that one broke off. Um, uh, can't really put a center stand on until the mount is repaired. Like I said, we've had a few that happened to a few of the bikes in the past. We just got them welded back on and they usually work just fine. Cosmetically, the bike's in pretty good shape. It's fairly low miles. Um, the plan was to get a valve job done on it. That's what it needs. It needs to, to have the cylinder head pulled and valve job. It also needs to have the cam chain replaced. Cam chain's making some noise. Uh, motor 101 when I got here was the owner's bike. Uh, the owner seemed like he always took whatever bike was the newest one in the fleet, lowest mileage. I think we bought this one with maybe 10 or 15,000 miles on it. Originally it was completely done from stem to stern with uh, silver. There's this bright silver, uh, kind of a metal flake, sparkly silver color. And uh, the only part of that that's still on the bike still have the silver fender in the back I didn't bother to take that off um, the silver side covers are over here to give you an idea what color the bike was that was the original color not as easy to see on the GoPro but nice solid silver color still have the silver fairing that's going with the sail as well and the tank the tank had a big dent in it at a certain point it's kind of like you know one of the bags had to get replaced they did a paint job on it, didn't look real good, didn't match the other ones. So I set it up with the original black and white for us to use it. Um, like I said, it hasn't gotten much use in the last few, last year or two. It's been kind of waiting online to get uh, to get the valve job done. So you get the flashing lights for you. Got a double light on the side here. Got a PAR 36 is in the front. Worked pretty good these on the side and then they got these three white Tomars in the back in the back of the box got this fun UFO thing which I never cared for this one's got a white light on the side and then another one of those nice Waylands in the rear um, like this bike hasn't been started in a while uh, it's probably been at least six months since it, since it started and the other good thing about doing this video is it can show you the other modifications that we've done all of the bikes have these Dyna coils in them. Dyna coils is a really, really good modification. Gives you a nice fat spark, a lot of voltage. Um, we also, all the bikes have the air suction system removed. We just run a connecting hose in between them. Uh, air suction system doesn't really do much for the motor. It makes it a lot harder to get the valve cover and everything else on and off. So we just take them off, generally. Also knock out the plugs in the carburetor so that we can adjust them. Um, this one also, if you can get on this side of it real quick, this bike has a uh, 
extension on it. We put a little extension on number four cylinder, was burning some oil. And that extender basically it keeps the amount of oil that gets to the spark plug to a minimum. So I'm going to fire it up here and let you listen to it. Turn the fuel on here. Just let it sit for a couple of minutes or a few seconds. Wow. Fuel's on the way to the fuel, to the carburetors. I think it's probably enough. Get a full choke. And start it up. bike was always kind of cold blooded as it was and you can hear that rattling sound from the engine is the cam chain uh, cam chain makes a bit of noise yeah it's kind of overdue to be replaced but you can tell the bike does run um, it's had a share of scrapes as well I mean I'm going to say it's never been any kind of wreck it has it's been wrecked but uh, it actually rides and runs pretty good. We're not going to do a test ride on this one because I don't know. I don't want to go to that much trouble uh, to put it all back together for a test ride. Um, this is a bike that if you were going to use, if you were going to sell it for someone to ride, I definitely would do some work on the engine first. But this uh, video, just to show you that it does start and it does run. looks like the uh, fuse for the tachometer might be burned out but anyway this is the uh, cold start walk around for motor number 101